Am I regretting this already? Possibly. Hello there. Welcome to this video. My name is Nikki and I'm going to attempt painting something that's in my head for weeks, if not months. And I'm a little bit scared to do it. <laughs> I think there are some times when you have such an amazing idea that it might not be amazing for everyone, but it feels really great to me because I can connect with it so deeply and I feel super passionate about it. In those times, it is kind of scary to actually get started with it because sometimes I feel like it's never going to turn out as great as I imagine it in my head. So I've been thinking a lot about myself, who I really am and the struggles that I had in the past years with finding myself in a new city and in a new lifestyle. Being an artist is amazing, but I'm alone all day, every day, and it can be quite draining. So there were some times when I was just standing in front of a mirror looking at myself and not even really recognizing who I am anymore. So I was just trying to remember back to my older self when I was just full of energy and I would go out partying and I would just always be surrounded by people. And then I thought, I'm an artist. Why don't I just take my art and let it help me tackle this kind of issue, dilemma, existential crisis, if you will. So this is going to be somewhat of a self-portrait, but with the twist that there's actually going to be a banana representing me and my feelings. I also want it to be very fun. Like, I want it to be a painting where you look at it, you feel like, wow, this is such a fun painting, but then you look at it a bit more and you're like, mm, this might be deeper than at the first glance but it's still fun to hang on your wall yeah let's see if i can make it let's just get to it shall we here i want to say that i absolutely didn't prime this canvas i know it's pre-primed but i like to prime it again myself and I actually didn't notice this until halfway through the painting when I just... I don't know, the paint didn't go on as smooth as I wanted it to be. It might be just, you know, in my head. I am seriously debating whether I should do acrylics or oil paint. Honestly, I am so much more comfortable with oil paint and I kind of want this thing to pop, somewhat be realistic. The thing is, I'm not even sure what exact style I'm going for and I think that's the problem. But you know what? I think it's time to be a bit adventurous. So I'm going to continue with acrylics and I can always repaint it on top with oil paint if I want to, because why not? Mm. Let's do that. Okay, so I actually need to go and buy some nice pink color that actually has some coverage because I only have neon pink and purely red. And somehow with my colors it's very hard to make like a really nice poppy pink, so... Okay, so far it's going great. 
Now that I'm done with the fun part of this painting, I'm going to move on to the serious part of it. I'm so excited! <laughs> I am a self-taught painter and sometimes I felt a bit insecure about showing how I paint because it might not be any of the conventional techniques but at some point I just let it go because I love experimenting, I love doing stuff that just feels good at the moment and feels good to me. For example, if I want to paint with my fingers, if I want to smudge things, I'll just do that. I really love the way paint works together with my finger and melts a bit because of the warmth of it. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I think it's pretty clear that food is a very, very important part of my creative process. Every time when I have ups, downs, I'll just go for something yummy that's gonna give me some nice inspiration. So far I love the way it looks. Now I'm going to go for the mirror frame. Mm, I'm kind of a bit worried that it's not gonna be obvious that it's a mirror but even if it looks like a picture it's cool I actually never tried to do gold before and I, obviously I don't have golden color I mean not obviously but I don't have golden color so I'm gonna need to mix it out exciting Here I made my first mistake because I was lazy. I wanted a rounded frame and I really, really felt like that's the right choice, but I was just too lazy to draw it out and to make it out and I just wanted to get going with this painting. So I made this one and honestly, it just didn't feel right. It really feels like a picture frame. I was trying to go with it but it just didn't feel okay. Even with the amazing floor that I painted, I love it so much. It just it didn't work. There's already so much happening there and it just pulled focus from that, I think. Anyways, I just kept going and being hopeful as one does. So I started to work on the background. I imagined this as this really beautiful, dark, moody vibe. And moody I got. Spoiler alert! I actually changed this background, but but let's just look at a footage of me working really, really hard and long on this background before, you know, changing the whole thing. I will say though that my boyfriend actually preferred this background. He said it's super whimsical and magical and it's really cool. I just really didn't go for that vibe. I'm thinking that this doesn't have the effect that I really want to have. The background is a bit too dark and in my head it looked very cool because it was a very dark background and the mirror was just bright and shiny showing the youth basically or the fun self and the aged banana was just by itself kind of being lonely and a little bit sad like a melancholic vibe. But this one just seems much more um, like mystique and magic and you know, I, I don't really love it. And then I came across this picture. Where is it guys? Okay, so I was watching the videos and I saw this. And I thought to myself, that looks very cool. Now originally I wanted the dark background. Yes, I thought it's gonna be more dramatic, but there is something about having the bright pink color in the background, the really moody dark blue and the bottom and just having that funky painting there that makes it feel so much more melancholic to me. I'm not sure why. I think it might be because there is this room with fun potential, but that banana doesn't look fun. You know? It doesn't look like it's having fun. 
So I decided to paint this beauty over. It's really sad because I went over to really beautiful, pure, bright pink. I'm going to go over it with white a couple of times and then try to attack it with the pink. And hopefully it's gonna be nice. Otherwise, we'll just paint it back. At this point this painting was in my head as an idea for weeks if not months and I always pictured it with a dark background. I don't know if anyone else experiences this but if I am just sitting on an idea for such a long time I get pretty attached to it and then I kind of stress about making it perfect and if I need to modify something in the middle I am like oh my god this was not the original plan, why is the original plan not working, what did I make? up then I thought that's just stupid so I was thinking a lot about this during this painting because I really felt like I'm abandoning part of this painting am I regretting this already possibly but I still have faith that it's gonna turn out okay or good, or even great. Um, this was the moment when I couldn't deny any further that that frame needs to go. I actually started to attack it in the middle of the night and I didn't take any footage of it, but here is the result and oh my god, it looks so much nicer. So while I am adding the final details to this amazing painting, let's just talk about self-portraits. Because for a really long time I really pictured self-portraits as, you know, paintings and pictures with your face in it. But then this idea came to my head, I don't know why a banana, I really don't know why a banana. It just happened and somehow I feel like so many of my paintings are self-portraits and it's not because a banana really looks like me or something, it's just because I put part of me in it and I put part of my personality and the way I view myself in that painting. Does that qualify as a self-portrait? What do you think? Like, is every art piece that you make a self-portrait? Or you need to consciously decide that you're gonna make a self-portrait? Is a self-portrait something that represents you or symbolizes you? Or is it just something that you put your personality into? And if someone else looks at your painting can see, oh yeah, Nikki made that. That feels something of a self-portrait to me. This might be bullshit, I really don't know. Um, let me know what you think. What I will say though is that it is so therapeutic to paint out some of my feelings and my fears and it also helped a lot to look at myself and the situation that I'm in and the life that I have in a very different perspective which is just so cool. I also love that this painting doesn't show me and my face and everyone can see themselves in it and everyone who ever felt like they are a different version of themselves now or they just feel like they maybe lost themselves or they sometimes they wake up, they look in the mirror and they don't recognize themselves anymore or the people who may feel like they can't show their real self to the world. I really love that this painting gives the opportunity for so many people, hopefully, to see a part of themselves in it and to recognize some of their own situation and I think that's why art is so beautiful because it gives this opportunity to people to reflect on their own feelings and I'm so grateful that I get to do this. Here is the final painting. I love it so much. I'm so excited to have this painting and I feel like I made such a great progress as an artist during this painting process and hopefully I will be able to sell this painting soon and also make some prints out of it so I can have it all around the world maybe that is a dream of mine so thank you so much for watching this video and have a lovely day subscribe if you haven't 
拜。